I'm Dr. Cher and today I want to talk to you about the power of food um, and I'm hoping what I say here is going to inspire you to continue to, to you know to eat well a lot of people you know maybe took over the new year that they, they want to clean up their habits they want to eat well they want to eat cleaner um, maybe the goal is to you know just lose weight maybe it's actually just you just know that they're, they're not feeling as good and just eating better would would help them they want to establish some good habits and why this will be very inspiring is I recently offered a it was a, a seven day detox program for my clients um, and the most I work with people who want to lose weight and you know that successfully lose weight and part of this is the boot camp it's a detox reset boot camp offered just seasonally just at times when people just need to know they want to do one of their little I'll call it course correction you know, I have five principles to my program, and one of them is course correction, having the strategies, the mindset, the body, things to do for your body, just to do a reset, you know, in terms of course correct, be it habits, be it to shed a few pounds. When you have those tools and strategies throughout the year, you can do these little course corrections and you don't get that insidious gain, right? Be it weight or get back into some of the old, old habits that you've had. So I'll share some stories with you, some amazing results, just in five, five to seven days that people did this. Um, and, and the reason it was for me so powerful was because, I mean, I, I see these kind of things, but it's over a stretch of period of time. And I just, it was such a reminder for me how impactful food can be. And we're talking five days, like not like six week elimination diet or anything like that. Like it can be profound and hence the, the term, you know, food is medicine. It can have a huge impact, whether it's being used therapeutically, whether it's just, you just want to feel better and just, you can change how you're feeling. You maybe shed some weight, but it's like more of that. Um, and that impact is huge, right? To our quality of life and ideally preventing health issues down the road. Granted, it can also be used for health issues in terms of changing eating habits. So what I found was the, so in terms of the whole idea, when you hear people, talk about a detox and it may seem very complicated if you're trying to lose weight you're like oh what's the best diet how should I eat all this kind of stuff it's really not that complicated it's almost a bit of a back to basics attitude and yes there are kind of cleanses detoxes you can do and you're doing shakes and juices and this and that like and they can work but you know at the end of the day when you learn how to do this with your food you're empowered you can do this at any point in time when you feel you need to also it's putting you on a path to creating healthier habits using real food. So ideally, you know, personally, that's my program is all based on real food, right? We are not using any of this fake stuff. So if that aligns with what you're looking for, I think you'll find these stories from some of the people in the, in the, in the boot camp very interesting and inspirational. So um, first of all, as I said, it doesn't need to be complicated at all. The whole idea with the detox, just as a quick recap, is that, you know, imagine you're you've got your body and you have a funnel imagine a funnel and you have all these things coming into your body this is gonna be food you're eating it could be what's happening within your metabolism you can produce toxic things in your metabolism um, depending on what stress and the types of exercise you're doing it could be environmental toxins you know being in the environment in our home in our office if you're going to an office creams all these things but the body's amazing the body is capable of detoxing. It's not like it can't do it. It does it. It does it all the time. Otherwise, we wouldn't have survived as a species. It can do it. It's just at times it can become a bit overwhelmed. <laughs> so imagine this funnel. You've got all these various toxins coming in. Um, and then you've got the liver, which is primarily your detoxing organ. Um, and that interacts with the immune system. It deals with toxins. De changes them around so that the body's able to eliminate them. That's kind of the essence of detox, which the body can do. It can do it beautifully. The human body is an amazing thing. But when it gets out of balance, it be it that the actual amount coming in is just too much for the body to be able to detoxify it and get it out. When that becomes imbalanced, then you're getting a toxic load. And that toxic load is what's going to stimulate the one of the things that will stimulate the immune system. The immune system is trying to protect us, but it's going into overdrive and doing too much of it. And therefore that causes this inflammation. If you've heard that's in essence, it's a very simplistic 
explanation, but th that's the gist of it. Too much going in, can't get rid of it, has to do with liver and the immune system. The immune system becomes hyperactive and that is in essence inflammation. So it's a natural response, but too much of it is not natural, right? So that's what we wanna do. So the whole idea of a detox, the idea of eating clean, is just let's really decrease what's coming down the pipeline. Give your liver a break. It's still gonna have to do what it has to do because of other toxins that are around, but let's minimize the load coming in. That is in essence. So when that happens, then guess what? The inflammation decreases. And this is the thing that I found. With the, the, the plan that I was putting people on again, just using whole foods, and I'll explain a bit about this too. Um, it was amazing the changes that people saw. I'm actually made a few notes here on some people. So, cause one of the things I have them do is they, they have a questionnaire, an inflammation questionnaire. And it's, um, it's kind of like an algorithm. What they're doing, they're scoring um, symptoms they may experience in terms of frequency and severity on a scale of one to four. And it's for all the different areas. It's skin, it's you know the throat, mucous membranes, eyes and ears, it's joints, it's weight, it's digestion, it's mental, <clears throat> mental ability, emotions, moods, things like that. So it's looking at all these different areas because when the body's inflamed, it affects everything. It's an underlying mechanism. Now, for some, it's going to affect some areas more than others. That's very subjective. That has to do with many factors, including genomics. But it's going to affect everything. It, it, can't, it has the ability to affect everything. And this impact quality of life, for instance, if joints are more inflamed, and it's not just mechanical, it's because your body's inflamed, then that an, has an impact, right, on quality of life. Um, but it's also, when not corrected, it can create significant health issues. You know, heart disease is considered, you know, inflammation of the arteries. Uh, dementia is considered inflammation of the brain. So it can have very profound and significant health issues. So the idea is to turn this around to improve quality of life and prevent a lot of these kind of more chronic type diseases that we see. So with this boot camp, people did the questionnaire, they got their score, and then we redid it seven days later. And again, I was like, wow. Like, I mean, obviously I knew it was going to improve, but to the degree, it's like significant. One woman, you know, her score originally was 54. On this questionnaire, anything above a 30 is considered inf more inflammation. It's not diagnostic, right? It's more, there's a appears based on symptoms, there's a tendency to have just general inflammation in the body. Um, and anything kind of between 30 and 60 is inflamed, above 60 is very inflamed. So she had a score, her score originally on first it was 54, after five days, sorry, after seven days, it went down to five. And she noticed a big improvement, you know, in digestion, within two days, gas bloating gone. That also could do with the food, not inflammation. But the inflammation, you know, mucus buildup, con you know, that mu inflammation in the throat and the, in the sinuses, right? That mucus buildup was gone. Um, the other person, you know, another woman felt like she'd always had itchy ears and itchy eyes, um, a lot of pain in her joints. That had disappeared. Um, another woman who had um, significant neck pain and had episodes of for the previous six weeks, um, was getting treatments and whatnot. But with this, she, I mean, at this point, when, when she started, she said she was in chronic, uh, constant pain, significant to the point she was taking Tylenol threes three times a day. Um, after five days, because she felt it earlier, like her pain in the neck was sporadic, no longer constant, it would take a few times a day, because it's a musculoskeletal component to it, right? Um, but just the general inflammation had gone down. So now it's just, it would flare up a little bit throughout the day here and there, didn't, but didn't need the medication anymore. So for her, that was like unbelievable improvement. She was shocked by it. Um, you know, another woman, her score was originally 89, she, you know, and, and, and had a lot of kind of health issues related to this. And it went down to a 40 and she noticed a big change, right? Her energy, all this kind of stuff. Uh, another woman, mental fog, she said, you know, she couldn't really process stuff and everything, and she just really noticed her attention and focus wasn't as good. Originally, the first few days got a little worse, and then boom, suddenly it's like the fog cleared. Um, so these are, it's it's so powerful. Food is so powerful. So when you're looking, if, if your goal is to lose weight, I highly encourage you to try and focus on using a food-based system and eating clean food. What do I mean by clean food? 
Now this means obviously vegetables, you know, for sure, lots of vegetables, um, you know, fruit, you can have fruit, it is a sugar, so depending on your goals, you might want to just tailor it down a little bit, um, not go too crazy on the fruit, um, but have fruit, it's highly beneficial. You know, you're clean, you know, the animal proteins are fine, particularly when dealing more with chicken and fish, ideally organic, farm raised, all these types of things are wild if it's fish, good quality to minimize toxins. Uh, so you've got your proteins, your veg, your fruit, and then fats. You know, that's the only thing you really need. So your fats would come from your cleaner oils, right? So that's like olive oil, coconut oil, grapeseed oil, avocado oil, flaxseed oil, um, eating avocados, um, and then the nuts and seeds, right? Your nuts and seeds generally for the most part are, particularly when they're, you know, less processed, they're raw, they're not roasted and all this kind of stuff. So the gen that's sort of the general rule of thumb. If you want to do grains, particularly if you're, whether you're trying to lose weight or not, but when do grains, but do your gluten-free grains, right? So like wild rice, um, brown rice, quinoa, those are great grains to have. Um, so lean towards the gluten-free ones. And that's the essence of it, right? So you focus on those, you eliminate sugar, stay away from your packaged and processed foods, eliminate dairy, eliminate gluten. And that in essence is eating clean. If you can really commit to that, you'll probably find like you will be shocked at how amazing you feel within a very short period of time. Um, I was reminded, you know, in this detox, just how quickly you can see, like I almost forgot, I'd sort of taken it for granted. It's like, wow, food is so powerful. So I encourage you, hopefully this inspires you to kind of, you know, get on some healthy habits and clean up some, do some good, good clean eating and just take note of the benefits. I'm sure you'll see them. Thank you.